so hello everyone and welcome back to a brand new video and in this video i will be covering uh, problem equal distinct from Porsche starters 54 i will also make a video on the second problem that is k flip but in the following video we will just cover equal distinct and maybe i will make a separate video for the second problem so let's start with the problem that is equal distinct so in the problem we have been given an area of size n where n is less than up to 10 to the power 5 we have been given an area of size n so a1 a2 a3 so on up to a and we also have been defined a function f we have been defined a function f so like f of a represents number of distinct elements in array a. number of distinct elements in array a. so in the problem you have been asked to answer in either yes or no in either yes or no if you can break your array a if you can break your array a into two parts if you can break your array into two parts that is one array b array b and array c such that f of b is equal to f of c which just means that number of distinct elements in b should be equal to the number of distinct elements in c right so that is what the statement means so you want to answer in either either yes or no if it is possible to break your array a into two parts b and c such that f of b is equal to f of c right so how can we solve this so the problem is really easy it is not that complicated right so the solution is we will first count or keep a frequency and count the number of distinct elements in a we will count number of distinct elements in a Or you can like uh, formally you can say that we will find f of a. We will find f of a. Right? After finding of f of a, there will be two cases. Either f of a will be even or either f of a will be odd. So the first case is that is your first case. When your f of a is even. Right? When, when your f of a is even. If your f of a is even, the solution is like really simple. What you can do is what you can do is you can like uh, make two arrays b and c and assign f of a by two distinct elements to array b and assign f of a by two distinct elements to array c right because f of a is even so f of a by two is integer right so you can like break f of a into two parts and assign one part to b and assign one part to c right and as f of b is how much f of b is equal to f of c is equal to f of a by 2 right so now your solution is satisfied so i hope that is uh, okay right so that is the case when f of a is even so now the second case is when f of a is odd when f of a is odd case 2 when f of a is odd Now you cannot do the same step anymore, right? Because f of a is odd. So f of a by 2 will not be an integer anymore, will not be an integer, right? So you cannot do the same thing again. So you, you have to do something smarter, right? So in this case, what you can do is you can further break this into two parts. You can further break this into two parts. Uh, there will be two parts, right? So if f of a is odd, you will check if there is any element x, if there is any element x in a such that uh, frequency of x frequency of x is greater than 1 is greater than 1 if there is any such element if there is any such element x in a such that frequency of x is greater than 1 then the answer is yes then the answer is yes why so so what you can do is you can create two arrays right b and c right as f of a is odd as f of a is odd you can for the time being ignore x right if you ignore x now the number of elements will be how much number of elements will be f of a minus 1 right because you are ignoring x you are ignoring x we are ignoring x so f of a minus 1 is the number of elements that are left and as f of a was odd as f of a was odd f of a minus 1 will be how much it will be even right so first of all f of a was odd so we found some element x whose frequency is more than one and we and we ignore that element right right so if we ignore that element the new f of a value is f of a minus one 
and as f of a was odd, f of a minus one one will be even, right? And as f of a minus one is even, we can like split it between b and c. So we will assign f of a minus one by two elements to b, and we will assign f of a minus one by two elements to c, right? And now we are left with x, right? So we we also have to assign x. So what you can do is you can assign Right, as frequency of x is more than one, as frequency of x is more than one, you can assign one next to b and one next to c, right? And you can just like assign, like keep on assigning until you run out of frequency. So first of all, you add number of elements f of a minus one by two, and now you add one more different element that is x. So you can add plus one. Similarly, on the second side, you can add f of a minus one by two, and you add one new unique element that is x. So you can add plus one, right? So on both the sides, f of b is equal to f of c is equal to how much? It is f of a minus one by two plus one, or you can just say this is just equal to f of a plus one by two, right? So your uh, functions are still satisfied, right? So that was the case when you were able to find the element x whose frequency is more than one. If you are not able to find any such element, if you are not able to find any such element, then the answer is simply no, right? So that is the solution. So I will just summarize it. So I will just summarize it once again. So the summary is: we can break it into two parts. We will first of all find f of a, that is distinct elements in a. If f of a is even, if f of a is even, answer is yes. Because you can break f of b equal to f of c equal to f of a by two, right? And the second case, right? This is case one. So the second case, you have f of a is odd. So in that case, you will have furthermore two cases. So this is you can say case two point one. If there is some element x in A such that frequency of x is more than one, if there is any such element, then the answer is yes, because you can break f of b equal to f of c equal to f of a plus one by two. And if there is no such element, that is case two point two, then the answer is no. Right. So these are all the cases, and you can simply code this out. Uh, so, if you want to see the solution for this, is a solution. So, I will keep a bool found. It will help me to find if there is any element whose frequency is more than one, right? So, I am using the bool variable found to find the following condition to look out for any element x. And so, I will just like go over the whole array and keep frequency. If frequency of any element is more than one, then I have found my x element, right? And in the end, and the and the, in the end, I will check if frequency dot size that is f of a. If my f of a is odd, then my answer will depend on uh, if I have found some x or not, right? So if if the number of elements that is f of a is odd, then the answer is my just found value. If I have found some element x or not, otherwise uh, frequency uh, uh, the number of elements f of a is even, and the answer is yes. So I can just return true. So that is the solution, and I think the problem was like really simple. The second problem was was much harder because, it, as you can see in the contest page, uh, the summations of the first problems are around thirteen hundred, and the second problem has around under uh, hundred summations. So you can see uh, that the second problem was much harder. So I will also make a video for this. So stay tuned for this, and if you guys have a doubt or want to ask something, you can join my Discord server. I am quite active there, and I actively answer doubts there. Right. So join my server. and i will see you guys in the next video bye bye also if you guys don't know continue newton school is offering a full stack development course the course is uh, over 6 months long and it is totally based on pay after placement model and you don't have to pay anything there is zero hidden fees there is zero upfront fees and they are granting you a minimum package of rupees 5 lakhs and the average package is rupees 7 lakhs and the highest package is over rupees 26 lakhs so it is a very great opportunity Also, all their mentors are from top MNCs like Google, Flipkart, Zomato, etc. Also, they will get you placed into the top MNCs as well, like Google, Flipkart, Zomato. Uh, so uh, you can learn from the mentors that are working at those companies, and you can land a job at those companies yourselves. 
ऑल्सो यू डोंट नीड टू वरी इफ यू गाइज थिंक कि या मेरे को भी कोडिंग आती नहीं है मे भी फ्रेशर में कोई बिल्कुल नहीं आता है द कोर्स इज ओवर सिक्स मंथ लॉन्ग एंड दे विल टीच यू फ्राम स्क्रैच सो यू कैन स्टिल साइन अप फॉर दिस एंड इफ यू गाइज आर लुकिंग फॉर अ करियर इन द टेक फील्ड दिस इज अ वेरी दिस इज अ वेरी ग्रेट हेड स्टार्ट दैट यू शुड साइन अप फॉर एंड इफ यू वॉन्ट टू लैंड अ जॉब आई हाईली Uh, I highly vouch for this, and uh, if you guys want to sign up, there will be link down below, and you can go and sign up from there. So, yeah, you know, be sure to sign up for this, and I will see you in the next video. Bye bye.